You must be Lady Shear's friend. Mm -hmm. She speaks very highly of you. An occasion rare enough to be worth recording in its own right. But let's see this codex. Can you interpret this? The fabled Codex of Destiny. When the Fate Weavers formed their order, a High King gave his own wisdom to assist them. To have such knowledge in your hands is a tremendous gift. But why did it reveal itself to you? Because I have no fate. Nonsense. All children of dust have a story that is written before you see your first dawn. Now, I can only make out some parts, but this is odd. The Codex speaks of an exception, a void, an end to the endless. This is simply too much. The High King would never pawn such absurdity off as wisdom. Are you going to help me? Well, I'm afraid I cannot. This simply cannot be the true Codex of Destiny. It must be nothing more than a very impressive forgery. It speaks of impossible things. Changes to fate, death of the immortals, and other heresies. To ascribe these lies to the High King would be treason. I would thank you to take your Codex away from here. I will have no part in these lies. Are you sure the Codex is fake? Is there a meaning to it? Only its author can tell you. Right. Do not bother me with such foolishness again. Glynor spends his life cherishing old stories. But show him something truly new, and he dismisses it. Tragic. So why'd you send me over there then? What can we do now? First of all, we ignore this fool. Most Fae aren't comfortable with change, and you are certainly something new. I'm afraid that only one person will really be able to help us with the Codex. The High King himself. Alright. How am I supposed to meet him? It will be difficult. His court is in the city of Issa. Very few mortals are permitted in its gardens. I do know one individual who can grant you permission to enter. But you'll have to meet him alone. Alright. Who is it this time? Nirulim is more of a what than a who. You'll understand when you meet him. Right. With any luck, he'll be more favorably disposed to you than he is to me. He's bound to be curious at least. You'll find him in Southeast Dalentoth, at Cairn Nirolim. Just head towards the giant tree and, well, you'll see. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You'll have to meet him on your own. I'd accompany you, but Nirolim and I have our disagreements. Alright, bye. Good luck with Nirolim, and ignore anything he says about me. Hey. Enjoy your trip to Gorgoroth. Ooh, enchantment. You do not belong here, Mom. Enchantment? I like the challenge of this game, man.
my car and I don't care. Ho oh, ho ho! I got me something! Oh shit! Look at that! I made out today. So I can get rid of that. That's a jump. Junk. And junk. Chakras just tear motherfuckers up. Look at that. I'm a fucking beast with that shit. You know, come see my chakras, motherfuckers. Chakras feel so good. to the soul as the fire renews the field the birthing labors produce the foal as the mantis climbs to his mate the heart outstretched to her fair hand as the hunter kills its prey beside this hill he crafts from sand Motherfucking bear. 
Uh, kiss my ass. Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Taste my chakras, bitch. What? Oh my gosh. Alright. What do I level up? Alright. I'm gonna do more sagecraft. Sagecraft, yeah. And I'm gonna put more into the chakras. Well, I'll put one more into my. So. Alright, I got four in the bow already. Wish. Chakrams. Yeah, I'm gonna put all the rest in the chakrams. I kind of want 10 range, 10, yeah. Yeah, I already got that, alright. I'm good. Any different moves? Oh, the chakras. Yeah, that's what I want. That elemental shit. So I gotta keep putting points in here. And if I want something cool, I'm just gonna use the bow and the chakrams. I think that's what direction I'm gonna go with. Uh, where's the bows? Quake. Check out the bow real quick. Scatter shot. Arrow sh storm. Uh, that's cool. Scatter shot. Uh, oh, I see. 20 points of finesse. Alright. 